Hey guys, so here's your lesson for Friday, May 29th. Um, last lesson we talked about quadratics from a table doing using algebra. And today we're going to use GeoGebra. So we're going to use the calculator to form equations from a table. So writing equations from a table using GeoGebra. Okay, so based on the numbers we have in our table here, we're going to write a quadratic function. Okay, remember, the quadratic function looks like this f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And we're going to try to fill in the a, the b, and the c with numbers. So first of all, it's asking what are the roots, and then we're going to write our equation. So I'm go here's, here's the steps for GeoGebra here with some picture examples, but I'm going to walk, walk you through an example right now. So I'm going to go to GeoGebra. And I'm going to start by typing in my points from my table okay so in my table I start with negative 5 negative 7 use parentheses negative 5 comma negative 7 enter negative 4 0 enter make sure you're putting that comma in negative 3 comma 5 enter negative 2 comma 8 enter Negative 1, comma, 9. Enter. 0, comma, 8. 1, comma, 5. And 3, comma, negative 7. Enter. Okay? So in order to see your points, you go to the top right-hand corner to that little mechanical symbol. And you click Zoom to Fit. So now we can see all the points in front of us. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit so I can see them a little better. And I'm going to create a list. We did this in our regression unit. I'm going to go to the circle triangle on the top purple banner. And list is on the bottom under points. Okay, it says list in green, one, two. And I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to drag so that I cover all the points with the purple box and just let go. L, list L1 created, so I go back to my calculator, and there's your list in green. So I have all the points in a list. I want to create an equation now. I go to the next line. Okay, don't delete anything. If you clear anything, you're not going to have your list anymore. I go to the gray dot, dot, dot in the, the right-hand corner, and I start to type in poly fit. Hmm, why didn't that come up? Oh, sorry, I have it backwards. Fit poly. Okay, that'll come up. Fit poly. And I type in L1. There's my graph for my parabola. Okay, it gives it to you really nicely. Now, first thing, it asks for the roots. Okay, you can see the roots where it crosses the x-axis. It's negative 4 and 2. So I'm going to write that in. x equals negative 4 and x equals 2. There's my roots. Now I want to write the equation. Well, GeoGebra did it for you. Okay, Under your fit poly here in your calculations, you see 0x to the 5th plus 0x to the 4th plus 0x to the 3rd minus 2x squared or minus x squared minus 2x plus 8. It looks like it's a, it's a lot, but you actually don't include anything with a 0 in front of it. So I'm not going to include x to the 5th, x to the 4th, or x to the 3rd. I'm actually going to start with my negative x squared and take everything there that doesn't have a 0 in front of it. So I'm writing negative x squared minus 2x plus 8. So my equation is f of x equals negative x squared minus 2x plus 8. That's my equation for this, this table. And that's it, guys. So example two. Given the following table of values, find the roots and write the equation of a quadratic function. So what are the roots? Well, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go to my GeoGebra, and I'm going to start to type in the roots. So I have negative 7, negative 8. Negative 6, negative 3. 
negative 5, 0. Negative 4, negative 1. Or sorry, negative 4, 1. Negative 2, negative 3. Negative 1, negative 8. Okay, zoom to fit. And now we're going to create a list. Circle, triangle, list, drag, and let go. Okay, your list is created. Now, let's do the fit poly. And it should, you could type it in, but it should be there if it was the last thing you used. L1. Enter. Okay, so now there's my parabola for those that set of points. So I first look at the roots. Negative 5, negative 3. There's my roots. Okay, write the quadrat part B, write the quadratic equation. It's here, it's right under the fit poly. Okay, I have zero x to the fourth. Remember, I'm not gonna use anything with a zero, so I'm gonna start with negative x squared. So I have negative x squared minus eight x minus 15. So f of x equals negative x squared minus eight x minus 15. And that's your formula. You're done. GeoGebra did it all for you. One more for today and then we're done. Okay. Using the graph, create a table of values, then write the equation of the function. So instead of a table, it gives you a graph, which actually makes things a little bit easier. Okay. Part A says, what are the roots? Well, I could just look at the graph. The roots are where the parabola crosses the x-axis. So I have x equals negative 2 and x equals 2. Okay, so part B, use GeoGebra to create a table of values. We don't really need to, that's a typo. We don't need to use GeoGebra. We can just look at the graph and create a table of values. So let's just pick some nice points here that we can use. I have negative 3, 5, um, negative 2, 0, negative 1, negative 3, 0, negative 4. 1, negative 3, 2, 0, and 3, 5. Should do it. So there's my, my table of values. So now I can use my table of values to create an equation in GeoGebra. So I'm going to go to GeoGebra. I'm going to clear all and start by typing in the values that you just put in. So I have negative 3, 5. Negative 2, 0, 0, negative 4, 1, negative 3, 2, 0, and 3, 5. Oops. Okay, zoom to fit. There's my values, and, oh, did I skip one? I did. I think I skipped negative 1, negative 3. Yep. Okay. So now it should all be there. All right. So let's create a list. Drag and let go. Calculator. New line. Dot, 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 fit poly, L1, enter. Okay, and there's your equation. So I can see my roots are negative 2, 2. That's the same as what I had before. And now for the equation, I have x squared minus 4. Again, I'm not using anything with a 0 in front of it. I just want x squared minus 4. So f of x equals x squared minus 4. And we're done. So that's it for today, guys. Take a look at the example or the assignment um, for today. And after today, you only have three lessons left for the rest of the year. Good luck. Let me know if you have questions.